is in the waist. That is where the strength is. But if you look at the waist, it looks like one of the smallest parts of the body of that lion. That waist is the National Peace Council. And Ghana brought together, particularly the political parties, are the real body of this lion. Our strength, therefore, is your strength is in us as you wish. And since your strength is in us as you wish, it is you who can make that waste of ours much stronger to be able to serve the purpose that you expect of it. Now, we have reached out to you. You've come out with quite a number of proposals, very good ones, I believe. Those proposals coming out from you and drawing our attention to the fact that we have been inactive in certain areas, which you expected us to be proactive, should tell us in the whole world that if right from today, an issue of that nature comes up from your party, and we take you on for doing this or that thing, you would agree with us that it is the strength that you have given us to enhance our, your waste. We are reaching out to the new patriotic party as well. I can assure you that this will be about the same or similar issues that they will bring up. At the, at the end of the day, those issues that they would bring up to me and from our thinking will amount to a commitment on their part too. Because they have demanded that of us, just as the new National Democratic uh, Congress is demanding this of us. And in that case, therefore, if they should do something that merits our naming and shaming, they would understand that they gave us, they, they strengthened our waste and demanded that we do it that way. And therefore, they may not have the moral you know, authority to say or to condemn what we have done. The same with the National Democratic Congress. It is the reason why I've said that let bygone be bygone. But when I talk of the bygone being bygone, I did not say that we should forget that things happened. We must continue to remember them. That's part of our history. And you can't make progress if you don't know your history. We certainly must bring it on board to help us to be able to understand and know what we want to do. The committee, this committee that we have put in place, certainly is clothed with the needed authority to be able to do the number of things, the very many of them that we say we would want to do because the committee did not put itself in place. It is a subcommittee of the National Peace Council and it answers to the National Peace Council. And it is the reason why my humble self as a member of the National Peace Council is the chairman of this very committee, which goes to suggest that they have the permission, the go ahead of the National Peace Council to do the necessary things which we have outlined and we've sold out to the political parties and Ghanaians in general that we would want us to go this way. As far as we are concerned, we do not believe that it is ever late to do anything, particularly things that are human in nature. But we must also accept the fact that 
as a committee, as against powerful people like the politicians, we have our limits and we can push to the end. Just like we normally say you can force a horse to the, ri the riverside, but you cannot force it to drink. Now, we are saying that, I give you the commitment that we will push and do the best that we can to the last end where our hands, arms can stretch up to. And we may not be able to go beyond that. And you would agree with me that we cannot go beyond that. For instance, if the NDC agrees and the MPP agrees that we should name and shame them if they go contrary to what is expected of them, then of course they will, not, they will have no cause to blame us for naming them or shaming them. But that must come from you. The act that puts the Peace Council in place is not that elaborate and when you read it, that it does not anywhere go near giving the Peace Council some of the things that you, you as well as myself, I believe should have been part of that act. They are not there. So that leaves us in a vacuum. Therefore, what is it that we do? We can only fill it up. I'm not a legal mind, but we can only fill it up with the mandate that you will give us and the mandate that your other colleagues will give us. We can, strength, we can stand on the strength of that as a moral right to do certain things without you being able to come out to say this or the, for instance, God forbid, if tomorrow the chairman of the National Democratic Council sitting down here, tomorrow he makes a statement that is fiery. And immediately we jump on him to say, why did you do this? He will not turn around to say that. In the past, some other people did that. Why didn't you check, try to check them? More so because this, we have met you, that mandate is coming out from you now. We are going to meet the others too. That mandate, I believe, will come out of them. So that you obviously, if we therefore go that line, you may not be able to say, oh, why did you go this? Is? And you would not refer us back to pass, the past that, oh, so years ago, it did, it didn't get it. We are opening a new leaf. And that is just what we are pleading with you. That let us open a new leaf. Let us advise ourselves with what has already taken place to help us to chalk the way forward. You agree with me that the Peace Council hasn't got that muscle that will force any legal body in this country to come out to do this or do that. What mandate we have it like you are putting up is to let them know that we abhor that. It is not a proper thing for Ghana. And we plead with you to please do this or do that and rectify that situation. I believe if we are able to do that much, you will be able to agree with us that uh, we just couldn't have gone beyond that. For instance, I don't have that capacity to go out, when I say me, I'm the Peace Council, to go out to fish out the people who killed others during political campaigning and so on and so forth. I don't have that capacity. Even I get them, I don't have the capacity to prosecute them for doing this or doing that. The cap those who have the capacity to pros do the prosecution, they must do the prosecution. Yes, I will agree with you if you say that it is our moral yeah. duty to impress upon them and insist that they should do it. That is what our reaching out to you is all about, so that you, 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 you give us some kind of respite you know, and allow us to do what you will expect us to do. If from now onwards we are found failing, then you will have right. After all, the, the platforms are always there. You can call us back, but this was what we, this was what we agreed. For instance, let's just look at the last uh, <coughs> suggestion that the chairman came out with, that the Inspector General of Police will sign that agreement the army commander should sign that agreement. The war and war should sign that agreement. Yes, that is plausible. That is true. Because the one who will implement the thing, those who have that duty and the constitutional mandate to implement those things must sign that we will do this or do that. 
I would want to believe that that certainly should be in line. You get me? But then, if we even come to this, that itself will tell you that in the past agreements, a peace pact that we signed, this clause was not there. But there is always a time for everything. Now that we started thinking that no, in order to help us really to get to make those peace pacts that we signed meaningful, the implementation should be there and we should put in place mechanisms that will ensure that those implementations are put in place. For instance, if the Inspector General of Police fails to arrest people who have killed others at a political rally and he fails to prosecute them, then that would mean that he has gone against uh, that uh, commitment that he himself has made. You get me? This is actually the way we want, we are, we are pleading with you to allow us to move. You know, because it is never too late. We are looking at building a Ghana for posterity. Posterity includes ourselves. We must enjoy it today before the others come later on to enjoy it. So it is through these interactions that we'll always we'll be able to find a way forward. And we will be able to commit to you the NDC and commit the NPP so that you would have no moral right to come out to say that to, to say that we have spoken against this or that you did you because you have given us the mandate to do that. All the things that my brethren, the, the issues that they raise, I believe all of it hovers around the same thing. That is accountability. Uh, 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 the right thing being done, law and order being maintained, and allowing the law to take its own course. That is what it is all about. Because if the law should take its own course, and the law says you cannot snatch a ballot box, you snatch it. And the, the police is there, the Inspector General of Police ensures that you are arrested. And then the Attorney General ensures that you are prosecuted. And if you are found, uh, uh, guilty and we are punished for it. That way, we would have done ourselves a lot of good. You get me? What the Iowasu uh, 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 incident that took place, whatever the committee met and whatever uh, uh, recommendations they came up with, you you know very well that I certain or we when I say I am only referring to the Peace Council, that there is no way we can push the current government to implement whatever the findings of uh, that committee, the findings were. Yes. Pardon? No. Oh no no no! I'm coming. I haven't. You are now. You are now. You are now. You are now creating. You are now creating a problem. The, that problem is that of may God kill the queen. You all know it. That somebody was writing on the wall, may God kill the queen. The police arrested him in UK, took him to the court. And there he told them that he said, no, I didn't complete my sentence. I was trying to say that may God kill the queen's enemies. <laughs> so now I am saying, you didn't allow me to land. You, you didn't allow me to land and you, it is the goodwill. I want a situation where each one of you here, individual or collectively, will be able to to call me, mention me, or, uh, or approach me, and tell me that, Morby, you gave us the commitment that this, this, and that. Why, therefore, this? That is the way forward. So I think, and that is what we have actually come out with, that give us the benefit of the doubt. And uh, the brakes that you have applied, whether they are hydraulic or manual, uh, you release them a little bit and give us the breathing space to be able to move a little bit. While you also watch and see what we do, perchance you may come to agree with you that uh, they are making an effort to do this and that and that. And that should be the, 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 the approach of all of us. That is simply what we are actually asking of you. But if you will ask us to do the impossible, Impossible because you know it is an impossible thing for us. We cannot do it. 
prosecute uh, Ayawasu. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying so. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. So, 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 and that, and that is the agreement that this is what we have agreed with you so that tomorrow something happens. If I don't call out, then you may have the right to ask me, why didn't you call out? And if, if you, and, and on the other hand, if it don't, because there are two ways, it can fall on you too. And, and if, and, and if, it, and, and if, and if it does, and if it does, and uh, I take it up, you must have, uh, you will, must have the moral courage to agree that yes, you gave me that mandate. So that is really the, the straightforward thing that we are coming with you. We just, we just want, we just want you to accept us. That don't throw us away with the, with the, with the bath water. The, water the, baby. The, the, the baby. We are the baby. Don't throw us away. Yes. Uh -huh. Because, like I said, I'm only reiterating that I believe that the best thing, one of the best things this country has done for itself is putting in place a peace council. It is for us to ensure that that peace council lives up to its calling. So, in a nutshell, I think uh, this is what I can say. And that is just our mission. And we'll be very grateful, really, if you give us a, 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 some breathing space. Chair, Chair I, I want to, I think there was this issue about the committee. Please, uh, it's getting the, ready. The board may establish committees <coughs> consisting of members of the board or non-members or both to perform a function. So this committee is clocked with extended mandate uh, to perform the function of the Peace Council. Let me, let me read it again. The Peace Council Act 8118, uh, section 8, subsection 1. The board may establish committees consisting of members of the board or non-members or both to perform a function. A committee of the board may be chaired by a member of the board or not. Uh -huh. So the committee is well placed. I just want to put that across. And also to assure, I think somebody asked a question about his speech. Uh, we have developed this guideline uh, on his speech and interpret language. We, we have copies that we leave behind uh, so that we can all make that references to the how it is implemented. It has so not, no, hold on. We have this document. You've, you've never heard us talk of this document till today. So we, so. No, 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 not necessarily. But the fact is that the document is there. The fact that you are not even aware of it earlier suggests that at least it has been outdoored. Now, we are saying that we will leave copies with you so that you know that the mandate that you are giving us this is the way we are going to walk through that mandate. We would expect then that you should not be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that, this utterance or that, you shouldn't be doing them. And if you do, we will come on you. That is simply what this, this uh, 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 they, are, they are all about too. Pardon? No, but we have met you first. We haven't, after, after meeting you, we are going to meet MPP too. But we haven't signed any. We are giving you our conditions. Yes. Thank you. We have mm. them. So if the conditions are met, then we are on board. Yes, the meeting of your conditions should not be that the end results that supposed to be achieved from those uh, uh, conditions must be achieved before you accept us. It is a matter of you seeing that we are making a genuine effort. Uh -huh. to get this and that done, then in that case, yes, morally, yes, that moral right will be there for you to question us. But what I'm saying is this, that from today and from this setting, that you give us the benefit of the doubt and don't overload us, overweigh us in such a way that you know as you do that you are crippling us. You get me? Uh -huh. 